guys I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend we had a beautiful weekend here in the hills of Arkansas it was uh, the weather was really nice um, and the sunshine it just come out in all its glory and just really made for two really pretty days but today uh, we're gonna make some green chili chicken white bean chili <laughs> that's a mouthful but we're going to make some uh, low-carb cornbread to go with it. Because me and Mr. Brown are watching our carbs, but we're not on a keto diet. So it's not that everything that we eat is keto. or uh, It may be low-carb, but it's not completely no-carb. So I know there's a lot of y'all, uh, because through my comments that I read, when, and hopefully have gotten back with you that... Uh, Y'all, a lot of you, are on a low-carb diet, too. And I don't really call it a diet because I'm not, I don't, I don't do diets. But I do try to watch my intake of, of sugar and, uh, and carbs. And it's gotten harder and harder the, <laughs> the older we get. So, as much as I love pie and fried potatoes, and we still eat those, um, there's still days that, you know, we watch the intake because neither one of us want in our older age to uh, to have sugar problems or to be, you know, way too overweight to be able to enjoy our retirement. So we're just trying to be careful. Now, Mr. Brown and I have always ate what we call healthy because we eat all natural. We eat natural um, foods. We eat foods that we raise. Uh, we don't do hardly any processed food at all. Now, I'm not going to say we don't ever because sometimes you get in a predicament that sometimes that's all you got and you go for it. But uh, we are doing better. And uh, Mr. Brown has lost a little bit of weight. I told him he don't need to lose a whole lot of weight, but he is really stuck to his low carbs. He's really watching his carbs. And I'm really proud of him for that. But tonight, we're going to make, like I said, some uh, chicken and white bean chili which I really like because it just has that uh, Mexican flair to it. It's got a real good flavor to it because it's got green chilies in it and cumin and stuff. But he's been wanting cornbread so bad, and I wouldn't make him a regular pan of cornbread any day, but he's the one that's sticking to this low-carb so well that uh, he wants the low-carb cornbread. So that's what we're doing. So y'all hang around, come with us, and uh, let's make some chicken and white bean chili and some cornbread because I think it's going to be pretty good and we don't want to feel so guilty eating it so let's get started Okay, I've already got my bell peppers and my onions in here, and I had melted about two tablespoons of butter, and I put about a tablespoon of olive oil in here, and I'm just going to get them just a little bit tender before I start adding all my other ingredients. And I'm using my my new pots and pans here, and this is my Dutch oven. Um, it's a clay Dutch oven, and the coating is a non-toxic ceramic coating and um, it's called de la terre which means uh, from the earth 
and we know clay comes from the earth. So far, I'm really liking uh, these pots and pans. I feel good about using them. Now, you can get these uh, pots and pans up to about 700 degrees, uh, and they're going to be okay. So you can cook with them outside. Um, they're dishwasher safe, oven safe. They're very easy to clean. So if you even think you might just want to check them out, I'll leave the link below. Um, and I'll be showing my saute pan and my baking pan soon too. So y'all can have a look at those. But I'm really liking these, these pots and pans uh, set. So we're going to get these sauteed up and then I'll put my garlic in there. I'm going to get my chicken broth together and uh, we'll get started on our chicken chili. And of course, we're going to make some low carb cornbread to go with it. Mr. Brown has been wanting some cornbread so bad, but he's trying to stay with his, his uh, low carb, you know, doing really good on it. So, Miss Lori knows that this uh, chili, chicken chili, is not completely low carb because I am going to be using white beans and I am going to be using my fresh corn. Both of these I had canned up in the pantry. But, um, you know, we've got to use our stuff out of the pantry and we need to eat our beans. I think, you know, I grew up eating beans, pots and pots and pots of fresh beans, and I'm just not going to give it up completely. Um, I think with moderation, we're okay. So tonight we'll just be eat some white beans and corn, and uh, of course... I'll be helping it out with the low carb cornbread, so I think we're good. Uh, just as long as we we watch how many carbs we eat, we're good. We're not doing a no carb, we're just doing a low carb, and you know, we seem to do better with that. So, let me get my chicken stock together, and uh, we'll get the, the chicken chili together real quick. Okay, it's been cooking about five minutes, and they're looking really good and tender, and the onions are starting to brown up and caramelize a little bit. So I think it's a good time to put, I've got three cloves of garlic I'm going to put in here, and we're just going to cook them for a second or two. I don't want to burn them. Now this uh, chicken chili has got a lot of, a lot of flavor in it. Um, and of course, like I said, I'm going to serve it with low carb cornbread. So, we won't be eating like tortilla chips or nothing like that with it. And I can tell you, I love making my cornbread with my, my masa, but it's not low carb. So, for right now, we're sticking with this. So I think that's long enough on the garlic. I'm going to put in, I've got a pint of white beans, which just use a can. And if you if you want to double this recipe, you sure can do it, because if you've got a bigger family to feed, it's just me and Mr. Brown. I'm just going to cook these just like this, just for a little bit. Get a little scald on them. I love canning my beans. I don't, you never see me in the store buying canned beans hardly ever because I buy uh, dry beans in the bulk, whether it be pinto, white, uh, butter beans, um, black beans, kidney beans, and I can them up and it's a really easy process. So I got my white beans in there. I'm going to put my corn in here that I put up from last summer and this was some really good corn really nice corn really sweet and I think this was uh, this right here I think was peaches and cream so we'll put a little bit of scald on that it's going to be so good now this chicken I got, if y'all remember my last uh, keto friendly 
recipe I made was the chicken, the green chicken. It was green, it was uh, green chilies, or it was salsa verde, chicken, and cauliflower, and uh, cheese, and cream cheese, and sour cream. Anyways, this was chicken. When you cook in bulk and put in the freezer like chicken or hamburger meat, it just makes stuff so easy to come in and be able to have your meat already, you know, ready and cooked. So, this was left over from that recipe. And, uh, Miss Vicki from Vicki's Country Home, she's real big on that batch cooking and, and uh, you know, making extra and putting it in the freezer. And it is a very good idea. I've always done that, especially when the kids were home. So, I got my chicken in there. And if you want to know how to, the best way to cook your chicken, I mean, that's just up to This chicken here, I just cut up in pieces, and I, I cooked them in a saute pan with cumin and garlic and just all the spices like that. So, it'll be good with being in the chicken chili. Now, I've got a little can of green chilies. Oh, this is smelling so good. I'm going to put, even though I've got garlic cloves in there, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of roasted garlic. I'm going to put probably a teaspoon of cumin. And I'm not going to put no salt in it because I'm fixing to put chicken stock in it. It's got salt in it, a little bit of salt in it. So I'm going to put some pepper. And I'm going to put some, a little bit of oregano in here. About that much. That was probably about a teaspoon. If you hear gunshots, that's my husband out there shooting his new pistol he got. I think he's pretty proud of it. Okay. So now I'm going to add my four cups of chicken stock. Now at this point, bring it to a simmer and then taste your broth again. And if you feel like you want a little bit more garlic and cumin in it, or if you need a little salt in it, you just add it in there, because that's what I do. So at this point, I'm going to put the lid on it, and I'm just going to let it simmer a little bit. And it only has to cook for about 30 minutes. And then it'll be done. So we're going to start on our low-carb cornbread. So let's get started on that. Okay, let's get our cornbread started and get it done. Our soup is really, our chili, chicken, white bean chili is smelling really good. And I tasted of it and it don't need anything else extra in it. Just, it has a really good taste to it. Uh, I'm getting my oven up here to 400 degrees. And I'm going to start it get it ready for my cornbread. What I've got in here is I've got a cup and a half almond flour. And I've got a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to sift it a little bit just to uh, make it a little better, finer, lighter cornbread. Now, I'm not going to put no sugar in this cornbread, but that's a optional if you want to. Mr. Brown don't like a sweet cornbread, so it's just up to you. So that was a cup and a half of almond flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And you can see how when you sift, especially almond flour, you see them big clumps. You don't really want that in your anything you're baking. So we're just going to kind of work them through the sieve.
Let's see, I've got two eggs, beaten up eggs. And in here, I've got two tablespoons of heavy cream and two tablespoons of water. I've got a fourth of a cup of melted butter. And I'm going to put about a half a cup of cheese. Cheese is kind of like butter. It makes everything better. And I'm even going to take just a few just to go along with our uh, chicken chili. I'm going to put just a few pickled jalapenos in my cornbread. Not a whole lot. Just a little for taste. That's just up to you. I'm going to get my recipe card and make sure that I've got everything in here. I'm pretty sure I do. Almond flour, cheese, i got baking powder, salt, eggs, cream water, and my butter. So we're all good. So we're just going to mix this up. And I've got my skillet over here. I'm fixing to stick it in the oven and get it warmed up. Now the one thing about almond flour, when you're working with it, and what I've learned from my own experience and what from other cooks have said, the smaller dish that you use to bake in, like your breads, your, your muffins, your um, cornbread or whatever, even your biscuits, you'll get a, a better rise on it because even with the baking powder, almond flour just doesn't, it's not gonna rise real, real big, but I'm thinking I'm still going to put it in my iron skillet that I always make regular cornbread in. And I could have doubled the recipe, but this is more than what we need. And I'll probably freeze some of it to eat at a later time. So a thin cornbread, if that's the way it comes out, uh, doesn't bother me, Mr. Brown, at all. It'll be good with this kind of a dish. So it was that easy to get that mixed up. And I'm going to get my skillet in the oven and get it heated up and get our cornbread in the oven. Chicken chili with green chilies is looking really good. And it's got the house smelling so good. But I want to show you something that I'm going to put in here. I'm going to add. Now, I know most people probably don't have this in the refrigerator. You don't have to go out and buy any. But I do because I like using it. But it's... Uh, crema, Mexican crema, table cream, and it's over by the, uh, usually by the cream cheese and stuff, or the regular cheeses, and I'm just going to pour about two tablespoons in here, but you can use two tablespoons of sour cream to replace it, and I'm just going to let that simmer a little bit. Smelling good. There is um, one carb. Let's see. I think it's one carb per tablespoon. Yep. One carb per tablespoon of the Mexican crema. And you know, sour cream is used in a lot, a lot of keto cooking. Low carb cooking. That and cream cheese. So, I can't wait for this to be done. So, as soon as our cornbread's done, we're going to taste it. Alright, I would like a little more of a 6 o'clock hole, but I 
talking about racial science. So it's what we're trying to do today. Man, this bowl of chili smells so good, I can't wait to taste it. The low-carb cornbread turned out really good and brown. What do you think about the low-carb cornbread? <clears throat> I think it's I think it's very good. <laughs> I've been I got about we got mine eight, but um Since you've been without cornbread for so long. Yeah. It's really not what I'd call cornbread, but it's like a to me, it's more like a what we used to call pone bread, cooked on top of the skillet type mm -hmm. bread. It's really good. It's good, isn't it? It's really good. We got butter all over it, so it is good. So we can live with low carb cornbread for a while, can't we? Or oh, forever, yeah. whatever it takes. I can. Y'all come back and see us, and God bless everybody.